Rutgers is raising tuition again. That tops tonight's Garden State Express. Our first stop, New Brunswick, where the university's Board of Governors has approved a nearly $4 billion budget that includes an average 1.7% hike in the cost of tuition, room, and board. Lower than Rutgers' customary 2.5% hikes, but the faculty wanted a 2.5% cut. So does a coalition of students, one of them, according to the campus newspaper, broke into the board's meeting room before the vote, scooped up a binder full of papers, and got chased by a staffer who put the kid in a headlock. He, too, will have to pay an extra $447 a year if he stays. Next to East Greenwich, where Pokemon Go sent one young woman up a tree. <laughs> really? The East Greenwich Township Fire and Rescue says it got a 911 call from Eglinton Cemetery with graves dating back to 1776. The cemetery board chairman reportedly had heard of Pokemon in a nearby cornfield and posted a note asking players to be respectful. But the game got the better of one player who got stuck in an old tree towering as high as six stories. The unidentified female was rescued. They've elected to protect her anonymity. Finally, Union Township, and no anonymity for this Jersey girl. At 113, Adele Dunlap is the oldest living American. She was born in Newark in 1902, taught school, raised a family, and she's been a resident of the Country Arch Care Center since she was 99. The Gerontology Research Group has certified that Ms. Dunlap is also among the top 10 oldest people in the world, a super centenarian. And that's our Garden State Express for Thursday, July 21st. Something up in your town? Tip us off.